What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Crick D, Booker Time News, you dig? And today I got a story coming to you. A former Dallas cop who shot and killed her neighbor after she said she had mistakenly entered his apartment had been sexting with her police partner. Moments before the shoot and was distracted, prosecutors say. Uh, Amber Geiger is facing charges of murder after she went into the wrong apartment on September 6, 2018 and finally sh- and fatally shot its occupant, 26-year-old Botham Jean. Police continue to miss the obvious sign that she was in, in the wrong apartment. First of all, how you going to go home you don't know where your apartment is? You've been living in this place. You know what's outside your door. You know what you're looking for, you dig? When I go home, I know if I'm at the wrong house or not. They said she missed the obvious sign, though, that she was in the wrong apartment, including a b- bright red doormat outside Boham door because she was sexy with her police par- partner just before the fatal shoot. Local uh, TV t- uh, KDFW report said her defense team argued this was her defense that she was tired and she was overworked and she had mistakenly parked on the wrong floor of the parking garage that led her to believe she was in the wrong apartment. First of all, you know where you park at. I don't care how tired you want too tired to drive, you want too tired to be sexy, you shouldn't have been too tired to know where that I ain't at home. This ain't my home because. When I put a big red doormat in front of mine, but the lead prosecutor, Jason, told the jury that hours before the shooting, Geiger had been texting her former partner and one-time lover, Martin Riviera. She texted, I'm super horny today. She allegedly texted Riviera. He texted back, me too. You did? He was horny too. He wanted to hit that. She was so wrapped up in trying to get hit that she wasn't even talking about where she was at. At 9.30, just after the shift she fed working 13 and a half hours, she sent him a Snapchat message saying, Want to touch? You tired, but you want to touch? They need to bank your ass. The two were on the phone together for 16 minutes as Geiger made her way from the police station to the parking garage at her apartment. The call ended at 9.55 just minutes before the shooting, according to the Dallas uh, morning news source. At 10.02, she texted her partner, I need you hurry up. Now I need you hurry up. And then one minute later, she sent the text talking about I effed up. Yeah, you did F up. In the last 10 minutes of that man's life, Amber made a series of unreasonable errors, unreasonable decisions, and unreasonable choices. Trying to text. Instead, you call him 911 because you messed up. You texting this man. They, they let you know you guilty. You did it. Shortly after the shooting, both Guyver and Riviera deleted the messages that they had shared together. They are police. You should know. You can't delete no messages, dog. I know delete. you can delete the message all you want because they coming back. And Riviera going to claim that that's something that he didn't want to be reminded of. I don't keep messages saved unless it's important. They want to try to use Snapchat. You thought that you thought that chat, Snapchat was gone? No, dog, that Snapchat ain't gone. That Snapchat coming right back. All they got to do is bring it back. According to Geiger, sent her final message to Riviera telling him she had effed up when she was on the phone with 911 reporting the shooting. So she on the phone reporting the shooting. And she steady texting dude. She should have gave that man 100% of her attention. A person died right in front of you. You steady texting. I bet you went from horny to want to be a nun. Yes, you she she, she should have replied. That was uh that was she should have did. She should have tried to help that man. Uh, Hunter argued that throughout her walk from the parking garage to Jean's apartment, there were several clues striking that. She was not on the correct floor. Not only did the apartment number start with a four, but Gene had a large red welcome mat outside his door, while she had no mat. Inside the apartment, the furniture was also different. The Gene apartment had been cluttered while her own while her own was neat. So dude had he was like a hoarder. You did? He had our stuff everywhere. So she when she opened that door, she should have known this ain't my house. When I open my door, I'm gonna know if I'm at home or not. The dude, I'm gonna know I'm at home, I'm not at home. And for her errors, for her admission, Gene paid the ultimate price. He had to pay the ultimate price. That man died in his own house because she was sexy. 
How would the defense attorney Robert Rogers argue that while the shooting had been awful and tragic, it had also been an innocent mistake? He said Gaiva had reason to believe that she had entered her own apartment and had encountered an intruder. According to him, she had been on autopilot and was focused on getting home. She was focusing on texting and she was focusing on getting that D. She wanted that D. That was what she wanted in that town. I don't know. She wanted something like that. She would flirt the text. Roger also downplayed the relationship between Geiger and Riviera called and prosecuted, content that she had been distracted by sexting. Sexting. Also, she had flirted all the time, he told Jury. They had a sexual encounter. They hadn't had a sexual encounter in months and were not planning to meet that night. But she wanted to be touched. I want you to touch me. And he said, okay. But he didn't have no plan. What were you planning on? Do you plan on something? Rod, uh, River also testified that there was no longer intimate and had plans on me the night of that shooting. Added that he had never been to her apartment. He had to know something. When she called you for help, when she gave you the address, but she didn't get 911 address, man, it's a crock of crack. You did. Roger told Julie that Geiger was, un was able to enter the apartment because it was unlocked. And when she went and discovered Gene, who had been sitting on his couch eating ice cream and watching the football moments before the intrusion, she tried to process this as she was she stepped into her apartment. And at the same time, I'm sure Mr. Gene is thinking, what the hell? Who is this coming to my apartment, Roger said. He's confused. He's wondering what's going on. She's thinking, why is this man in my apartment? You, that boy, what they want your apartment? He said she would act as any police officer we were confronted with who believed a burglar. However, Geiger's supervisor also took a stand and said that she could have implemented a technical retreat and walked away from the door if she believed her life was in danger. She didn't have to shoot. I think they set that man up. She probably had, she probably had sex that man and he was hidden. And she ain't want nobody to find out, so that's the way she can get rid of it because she sound like a freak. You dig? That's just my opinion. Geiger faced life in prison. And that, that trial is expected to last a long time, you dig? She was bogus for shooting that man. And he was unarmed, sitting down there eating ice cream, watching the football game. So if you did thought that was an intruder, why would you shoot? He ain't had, you ain't seen no gun. He wasn't a threat. I'm pretty sure you heard the football game on, and like they said, his problem don't look like yours. You ain't got no dough mat like that or none of that stuff. You just killed that man because dude turned you down. You was sexing and wanted to touch you. What they said in Texas said, uh, I want you to touch me, uh, feel me, and get inside me. Whatever they was sexing, thought they were going to get rid of with the Snapchat and all that. that get rid of that Snapchat don't work, y'all. I'm telling you. She needs to be banked. You did, and that man had lost his life at home doing nothing, but sitting on the couch eating ice cream, watching the football game. It's sad, y'all. I can't believe this happening. This way, this world works. It's your boy Crick D. You already know what to do. Leave it down in that box below, and I'm gone. <laughs>